car, car, take me round in the car, car. It's take the start of week two. Car, car, Adam's picking up his stand-in best man for the toughest task of the wedding, getting the dress right. <laughs> Still, at least this stripy pair won't be arguing over dress sense. Click, clank, open up the door, girl. They've driven a hundred miles the to the Wirral to find the perfect door, dress for Victoria. He knows the stakes are high when it comes to this gown, so Adam has parked his car ideas for the afternoon. Getting the dress right is mega important to me. That's why I've saved so much of my budget. <laughs> I haven't really got a clue. Um, I just would imagine that she'd like something quite traditional, whereas I'm probably not as traditional. I think I want to go for something that's a little bit different. Come so, on, Tricky. Right. Sit down, sweetheart. Right. Shall we look at the short ones first? Shorter. They tend to come just below the knee. They all have petticoats underneath. Yeah. So right. they've all got petticoats oh, right, yeah. sewn in. I like it, but it's not for Victoria. I think the... I think it's a little bit too booby and it ain't got arms. OK. She's, she's not got a massive pair, but they're, they're reasonable. <laughs> Charmer. So, are you just going to pander to, to what Vic wants or is it some of what you want? Do you know what? I've done so much so far that's very Adam. Yeah. Car shows. Yeah, yeah. Outdoors. Yeah. This is about Victoria. This isn't about me. This isn't about anything else. This is Victoria. This is Victoria's wedding day. Meanwhile, the brighter bee is in Doncaster with mum and bridesmaids Jamie and Rachel to look for the statement alternative wedding dress she'd choose if she were in charge. I don't want your traditional white fairy tale princess style dress. I want something different um, and possibly coloured, but I want a long dress and something that touches the floor and then some, definitely. Wow. That one is nice. That is my yeah, favourite. I like the look Fabulous, of that. Fabulous, isn't it? It looks like Bo Peep. Does it look mm. like Bo Peep or Nell Gwynn or something? That is amazing. If you want to make a statement, yeah. that's that pretty well. Maybe, but can I look at some other ones oh. as well? I'm, that's well, lovely. I'm excited. Oh, I like the look of this one. So that's your colour. But with Victoria basking in designer colours and patterns, in the Wirral, Adam's idea of playing it safe might mean he's dicing with danger. I have eyeballed one a little further down. Oh. This one? Yeah. Very, very pretty. Go on then, scare me. What's this one? That one's 1875. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was really expensive. For a sample, uh, we, can, we can take £500 off that okay. for the sample. Right. I do want it to be a statement, but I don't want... Vic to look at it and go, oh, that's maybe too busy. Really something, isn't it? That's, that is actually. That's incredible. That, that is. I like that. Incredible, but at £1,375, will they love it enough to buy it? That's amazing. You've got your glasses on. Can I put my glasses on? Because I can't see. I, yeah, I you need to, to see the details. Yes. <laughs> Just a minute. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> They've fallen in love at first sight with this elegant 50s inspired dress. But Adam can't help adding his own alternative touch. Could we Do try the denim jacket? Would, would, you, would you mind doing that? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> see, that actually looks, see, that, that, looks, that actually that looks really cool. Works. That really works, doesn't it? I want Vic to come in here, see that dress, and have the same moment that I had and go. Shit, that's right. A second-hand denim jacket. If nothing else, that's Victoria's something old and something blue sorted in one go. Over in Doncaster. Guys, this is the one! Wow! What are the chances it will be a white 50s-style dress with a denim jacket? Super amazing. <laughs> oh, come on, Vicky! Zero chance. I don't even need to see. I know it looks amazing. And it's over the right shoulder. It's yeah. brilliant. <gasps> oh, that's stunning, isn't it? It's is gorgeous. It's the one. I think he might well choose something like this. Because it is weird. Weird? No, it didn't mean weird. Weird, wrong word. It's completely different. Even better with your hair down. I feel sad now. Come on, dress. Let's let's just let's just take a moment, dress you and me. I want it. I want it. 
Having found her ideal and far more alternative dress, it's hitting home that Victoria is unlikely to ever get the dress of her dreams. Oh, darling. I've got a tissue here. Oh, Vicky. Wait. It's not going to be this dress, is it? You're going to start me if you keep going. I'm going to get changed now. I think Adam would have to do something really extraordinary to match up with that dress. I, there's no question about that. It would have to be totally stunning. And over in the Wirral, our groom knows it. Anna, crucify me if I get dressed wrong. I mean, literally, I might as well just cut my balls off and nail them to the wall. Just look at it. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. It's awesome. It's, I mean, it is, it's perfect. Even though as wacky and zany as some of my ideas are, Sometimes I can pull off what I'm aiming for and I'm hoping that she'll look at everything that I've done so far and go, actually, good job, lad, good job.